So here I'm producing a Victorian style playbill and I've applied different fonts to each part of the text. So let's click in the text to select it and choose the dynamic text button. It'll wrap it into a rectangle but of course we want to split up the text based on the content. So we can just go through and we can put in returns around each element we want to pick out. So before marching band, after marching band, before the performer and after the performer. And there is our text very, very simply enlarged to fit the space. Now, because we put in all the returns, it's not going to fill the whole width of our space because that's as big as the text can be given the returns and the font that we've chosen. We can drag it narrower and the text will reflow to make it fit the new width.